Hi, this is Don Howe, and the topic for this golden nugget is Habits of Rich People. This is part two, and tomorrow I plan to finish this three-part series on the differences between the habits of the rich and the habits of the poor. This information was compiled by Tom Corley, and today I'm going to talk about the habits of a lifelong learner. Tom found that 44% of the rich wake up three hours before work starts, while only 3% of the poor wake up three hours before work starts. Do you wake up early? Do you exercise? Do you work on personal development? 86% of the rich believe in lifelong educational self-improvement, while only 5% of the poor believe in lifelong educational self-improvement. Almost 9 out of 10, 88% of the rich, read 30 minutes or more each day for education or career reasons, while only 2%, that's only 2 out of 100, only 2% of the poor read 30 minutes or more each day for education or career reasons. 86% of the rich also love to read. That's almost 9 out of 10, while only 26% or about 1 out of 4 of the poor love to read. Do you love to read? Do you love to learn? If you're a parent, do you make your children read good books? More than half of the rich people, 63%, make their children read two or more non-fiction books each month, while only 3% of the poor parents make their children read two or more non-fiction books each month. The ratios are almost the same. When it comes to listening to audiobooks, 63% of the rich listen to audiobooks during their commute to work, while only 5% of the poor listen to audiobooks during their commute to work. And my last topic for today is TV. Only one third of the rich, 33% of them, watch more than one hour of TV every day, while more than three-fourths, 77% of the poor watch more than one hour of TV every day. As I read this, I wondered, what do they watch? And I found out that for one thing, 78% of the poor watch reality TV, while only 6% of the rich watch reality TV. Hey, my goal isn't to pick on TV, although I personally think that in most cases, it's a waste of time. But my goal with these golden nuggets is to point out that there does seem to be a correlation between what people do with their time and their financial status. By the way, how do your habits reveal to everybody that you are a winner? Thank you for listening to this golden nugget by Don Howe. To learn more about Don's free sales success system or to have a free success audio like this one sent to you each weekday, please visit DonHowSuccess.com. That's D-O-N-H-O-W-E-S-U-C-C-E-S-S dot -E 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 com.